Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I've got for you Max or Destroyer in his Object 430 version 2 Tier 9 Russian medium tank. Now this thing, I don't really know that much about this thing. Um, and I know not many people play it. It's the less played of the two Tier 9 Russian medium tanks. Obviously with the T-54 being the most um because that thing is just so good i think from what i've heard about this thing this thing is pretty good as well to be honest it's got the same gun if not a similar gun uh which gun yeah it's got the same gun um the 201 penetration 320 alpha damage with really good dpm pretty good accuracy and pretty good aim time well really good aim time um, the differences between this and the T-54 are that this has a rear-mounted turret, obviously, as you can see, and the turret doesn't turn all around. It only turns the front 180 degrees. The armor profiles of this thing and the T-54, I'm pretty sure, are roughly the same, except from on the front plate. Obviously, this thing is a lot more sloped back. Well, this bit's the same, but this bit's a lot more sloped back than the T-54. The lower plate I don't think is as sloped, but uh, don't quote me on that. And yeah, now Max is in a really nice matchup for this tank. Only three tier 9s on each team. And then, what's that, about six or seven tier 8s and five tier 7s. Um, and he's taken the 430 version 2 into a position which if you watch my channel a lot, you'll see me use quite a lot on this map on uh, Malinovka which is this kind of like middle position middly ridgy dippy thing good description Max first shot he fires of the game bounces off a tier 7 heavy tank obviously it's a Russian tier 7 heavy tank why wouldn't it bounce and yeah so he's brought it into this position I wouldn't think that this position would work for this tank because it's only got three or four degrees of gun depression I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not 100%. Four degrees of gun depression this thing has, which I wouldn't think would work in this position. But, who am I to argue with facts? Look, watching this replay, it definitely does work in this position. Don't really know what happened there. That Carnarvon was kind of desperate to kill Max, but didn't put... He, that Carnarvon there either had to not go at all or go all out. And he didn't do either and he suffered for it. Now, the gun hasn't been performing that well this game. He's ba He bounced his first shot. He's missed a couple. Again, he misses there. He's only done 938 damage with three shots. Excuse me. Oh. Sorry, I've been recording for a while now and talking a lot. Misses the A44 again. Ah, oh, come on. If he'd have hit a lot more of these shots, he would have done very well. Now, this play here was very, very nice. Sees the T29 coming over to try and get him. Takes one track off with the first shot. Takes the other with the second. And that gives it his team just enough time to put round after round into the T29. So then, when he finally does manage to actually get down the hill, he's a one shot. And... Max doesn't take any damage from him whatsoever, which was a really, really nice play there. This tank, though, does like being in those close-range engagements. It is a very good brawler. Um, obviously, because it's such a low profile and it's very strong turret, if you, they can't depress the gun enough to hit your hull, the turret is very, very strong. Although, saying that, it does have a kind of IS-3 weak spot on the top here, and the two cupolas are quite prominent on the top of the turret. But, you can't have a tank that's invincible, because otherwise that would be no fun. So yeah, from this position, I'm just going to talk about the position a little bit. You could, It's very, very good. Now, you can see Max has got uh, binos here, but if you've got a tank with very good view range anyway, like, I usually go to this position with my pattern. Oh, two seconds... T-44 rushes him, and his head gets blown off right in front of Max's face there by the boots. Wasn't a massive ammo rack, only like 200 health or something, but still, ammo racks are impressive all the same. 
Anyway, from this position, if you've got a good view range, you can spot all enemy vehicles coming up here. Obviously, you get some that sit here and sit here, so you like proxy spot them, or when you come up, you can spot them. You also, if what once anybody up here has been eliminated or is no longer looking at you and everybody here has been eliminated you can get up into this position and then spot into the enemy base because so you usually get some people spot here also you can sometimes spot artillery if they're sitting in these positions or if anybody's being really campy and sitting right back here and you see now like I said once all the threats have been eliminated up here and the majority here He's moved up into a very strong position. He's also hold down at the minute, which is why you can see he's he's bouncing a um a fair few shells. Well, I say a fair few. He's bounced two shells. Now he loads his first heat round of the game. If you don't know, the heat rounds on this thing are completely overkill. 330 penetration. But in that situation, that was the right thing to do because he would only have the gun depression to hit the upper superstructure of the Egg Tiger, he wouldn't, to get the um, lower plate, he would have, uh, to get the lower plate, he'd have had to go on all the way over and taken a shot from the Egg Tiger. So it was sensible there to load the heat round and just put it straight through the superstructure of the Egg Tiger. Again, another very good play. Unfortunately, the gun misbehaves there, misses, but the T-43 gets ammo racks as well. That's not a good take for Russian medium tanks, is it? The T-44 and the T-43 both being ammo rack this game. And now putting in some long range fire at the T-34. You can see all the remaining enemy tanks are situated in their base. Because Malinovka, very strong camp. AT-15, I don't blame him. I've played that tank. You want to do as little moving as possible in the AT-15. Because and stay relatively close to your base because in that thing as soon as you get over 500 meters away from the base if they start capping GG unless you can get there finishes off the Mutz he aims oh, he did aim at the AT-15's weak spot but he got finished off before he could get there the Lorraine puts one into his side finishes him off on the move and all that's left is a T-34 is he going to get the shot? Oh, that one goes just over, firing on the move. Holds his shot. Oh, no. Come on, for the top gun. Be a, just be a nice way to finish the game. Come on. T-34 has gone down into a dip. There's not a lot he's going to be able to do here. Oh, no, he bounces off the turret. Gets round by the T-34, but the rate of fire on this thing is so good that he finishes him off. So there we go, that was an absolutely amazing game there, some really nice plays in that game, and what you can see here doesn't tell the full story, because like I said, you can spot things, you can do quite good spotting from this position, so we'll have to see just how much spotting Max actually did. But from what we saw, he got 6 kills, so a top gun, and 3,623 damage. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this game, and let's just go take a very quick look at the post-game stats. So there we go guys, that was Max in his Object 430 version 2. He picked up an Ace Tanker, a Top Gun, and a Patrol Duty Medal, which is for the 5,109 assisted damage he done, which was pretty ridiculous. Uh, he also did 3,931 actual damage, and the Top Gun obviously, so that was an absolutely ridiculous game. 9,000 damage, well, both assisted and regular damage combined there. He picked up 1,696 base XP. That is simply ridiculous as well, especially in a such a high-tier tank. Because usually you, you get XP results like that in lower-tier tanks where you're facing drastically higher-tier tanks. Uh, just to mention to that Yag Tiger on the enemy team, he did very well. He picked up 56,000 credits, uh, without a premium account and only made 7,000 credits profit, but with a premium account that has to win 35,000. He fired 28 shots, hit 21 and penned 15, doing that 3,900 damage. And as well, again, that 5,000, That's that position is just so good and all-round helpful to your team if you can get there and have support and people don't rush you. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time.